hello friends welcome to our constraint series lectures and this is the part 4 of our constraint series and today we are going to st uh, study about tension work method and before we start this lecture or before, before we start this topic I want to solve a question I want you all to solve a question this question you will be solving with the basic methods without any point method or anything like that just just in a very, very basic manner suppose you have not studied you have not attended any lecture then how will you solve this I want to see if block A is displaced see first of all there are two blocks A and B and there is a combination of pulley and there is a fixed point if block A is displaced 8 meters to the left what is the displacement of point P and point P is a point on this string on the middle string so if A is moved to the left how much will this point P move I am saying for simplicity that also although it is not necessary this point P is in line with the support that point although this point P can represent any point on the string it may represent ok let's solve this first of all let me move this A block on the left hand side so definitely this pulley will also go on the left definitely this also come here some like this see one thing here very carefully this part is fixed because it is fixed with the this is fixed with the support so this part of the string won't move at all the extra string rolls from with the movement of this block B and the movement of this pulley this pulley so what is exactly happening here that is this part of the string that is coming from here the rolling of the pulley so definitely this point P will move here as the pulley is moving the point P will move somewhere here exactly that displacement we are asked to find so how will we find the displacement we will be finding that this displacement see if it is moving 8 meters so definitely this will be 8 meters and this is also be 8 meters so point P will move 8 plus 8 this part 8 plus 8 that is 16 meters see here I have drawn in a very neat manner this is 8 and 8 plus 8 this is 8 plus 8 that is 16 meters this is 8 meters this was the actual position of the pulley and this is moving in the left direction this is the actual point P so it, this point P is also moving with the string so this part and this part this much part this point P will move so 2 into 8 16 meters two strings are drawn out to suffice the constraint relation that's it so now let's start the tension work method what is tension tension is something that is the force that is acting on the string that is pulling the object that there is always acts, acts as a pulling force it never pushes so it is acting suppose there is a mass m and the tension will act always away from the mass m suppose there is a pulley or there is a support anything let's say there is a pulley it will act away from the pulley suppose there is a support it will act away from the support so it will always act away from the contact point along the string suppose we have suppose we have a string this is T1 this is T2 so I can say T1 minus T2 is equal to M into A if the mass is M so the acceleration will be in the upward direction but for a massless string for a massless and frictionless string the M will be 0 so T1 is equal to T2 so T will remain constant for full length of the string for a single string we can assume the single tension provided that it is massless and frictionless and the pulley is pulley is also massless I will tell you why later so net force is equal to 0 for a massless body 
that means this tension suppose the body is hanging here this tension these two tensions will be say equal at every point ultimately it will be equal for newton's third law of motion but for every point it will be equal and work done by tension force is equal to zero because tension is an internal force so we will always find th this will occur in pair so work done will be zero internal force does no work strings are massless so there is no kinetic energy stored during the movement suppose the suppose there is a movable pulley like this and something like this arrangement when this is moving down so this string is also moving down the string is also moving down if the pulley is moving down so due to the movement of the pulley some velocity is associated with it but the, there will be no kinetic energy because kinetic energy is half mv square and it needs some mass but this mass is zero okay find the relation between v a and v b by we'll do it by tension work method and this will be very simple i assure you if you understand this concept well and see the only thing we need to understand that is work done by the tension forces the network net work will be zero because tension is an internal force because one pair will be cancelled by some other pair see if we assume that this is t this is also t so to support this this will be 2t pulley is massless so this will be t and this will also be 2t because this is the same string so same tension so for a total 2t and t that will become 3t and here for this b that will be only, there will be only t so exactly what i have, what i am showing here is that this block a is moving up with a moving up to a displacement x1 this b is moving down with a displacement x2 see in case of block a the displacement is 3t the tension is 3t displacement is in the direction of tension so work done by the tension force will be positive here 3t into x1 in case of block b tension is upward but displacement is downward so it will be t into x2 that is minus so net work done will be zero by the tension force wt so 3x1 will be is equal to x2 t and t will cancel so differentiating once we will get 3va is equal to bb it's so simple this is a little bit complicated problem but we will be doing it in a very simple manner find the acceleration of the block b we have been given the acceleration of block a and block c let's find the tension first first of all this is a single string so the tension will be same so this is t here always away from the support this is t here this is t here this is t here for this pulley if we consider this is 2t this is 2t and definitely this is 4t now i don't know in which direction this block b will move so definitely it is moving upward moving upward so it will move downward only so i am assuming it to be say xb or ab direct i can say now this is t this is t and this is 2t so this is 4t i have shown the tensions here now net work done by the tension force is zero net work done by the tension force is zero and so t into x a because it is the a block the tension force is acting in this direction for the a block and x a is moving here for the c block also same the tension for the block is displaced in the direction of the tension force but for the b block it is moving downwards but the tension is acting upwards 40 so t into x we are differentiating twice with respect to time to get the acceleration 14 into ab and t into ac so a plus ac is equal to 4 ab so ab is equal to a plus ac by 4 that is 6 plus 2 by 4 that is 2 meter per second square so now i am uh, so it was very simple 
now let's solve one question that was a little bit complicated but we'll solve it by the help of now it is your homework i'm telling you it is your homework to solve this question now this is your homework to solve this question with the help of tension work method this will be very simple and uh, with the help of tension work method and you will comment the answer below calculate the velocity of b we had solved this in the earlier lectures but this will be very helpful if you can solve this with the help of tension work method so thank you for uh, your patient hearing and if you like our content then please like this video and please share this with your friends and please subscribe to our channel for more such content thank you